So, just another quick video about Virtual DJ 2023 and a pretty recent new feature that was added to Virtual DJ 2023, which is the charge folder, which was added to the public build 7544 a couple of months ago. So, what's that? Well, that's actually on the lists and advice here. So, now listen, if I have a charge folder, and like you can probably guess, it has a lot of charts in it. So, you can keep up with the, what's happening. Uh, in the, the music community, what are the what are the popular tracks? And they can also be like genre based, and you can be for wedding DJs, and you can be all that kind of stuff. So where does this all come from? Well, a lot of it's actually from the old cloud lists. So if I jump into my Enola version of Virtual DJ, like a build seventy four sixty two, and I go into list and devices, then there's no charts folder because it's new. I don't want to upgrade, no. Um, but if I go into the cloud lists here. You can see I have some charts, some different things that I have signed up for. And I signed up for those by Manage Cloud Lists in here. And so it's my little thing here on the Virtual DJ site, and I can add more subscriptions. And I have one little cloud list here that was just like a test. Um, but you can see that matches what is here in the cloud lists. But if I then shut down this Virtual DJ and I use the new one instead, then the cloud list here is only my own little thing. But the other thing that I've signed up for is now down here under Virtual DJ or VDJ Community Charge. So Wedding DJs, Old School Disco, all this kind of stuff is now down here instead. Um, so that's where some of it comes from. But also, also other uh, things that you can get. Um, so you can actually uh, get stuff from, uh, from these different sources. So I've signed up to IDJ Pool, so maybe not surprising, Pricing that I can get charged from in here. And I can, of course, uh, load the tracks and play them. Like that. So that's pretty uh, normal uh, because I've signed up, but I can actually also do it for stuff that I'm not signed up. For instance, uh, Create Hackers, I don't have a Create Hackers uh, account, but I can still use their list here just for searching, so you can actually see that uh, you can probably find this because of this logo. So if I click that, then I get a search, and you can see that I have a, actually a local file probably, and I have something for title, and I have something for IGJ pool. So let me just grab the, the, the karaoke version maybe, no, let's just do the instrumental karaoke version, and maybe the Chris Brown version, just load in everything here. And because I've signed up for title, I now have this Two. version, right? Three. But it's really based on the crate hackers that just turns into a search, that turns into a title track. Or I could get the clean intro one from uh, from IDJ pool. Wait a couple of seconds, and now that's ready to play too. So a different version of the same track. So I don't need to be signed up for to these things to be able to use them. Same goes for iTunes charge, which I couldn't be uh, signed up for anyway. And of course, Spotify, that we know we can't use in the DJ, but we can still use the global chart here. So we don't need to be signed up. And a couple of other little nifty things. First of all, you can move this around. So if you don't want to hide it in here, you can move it outside of this and advices. Let's try doing that. So put it somewhere down here. So now it's uh, more available uh, to get into than need to go into list and advices. Another thing is that some of it is actually it has a localization feature. So if I go into it here, I can change country and I can put in, well, I'm actually in Denmark. So if I say that, and I go into, for instance, the Spotify one here again, then I have the global one that I had before, but I also have a local Danish one, which means that you can see some of these tracks are actually in Danish. A lot of you probably don't know what this letter A is. So I can load these tracks also, which are local to my country, and it'll, uh, of course, search for them, and it'll go grab them at whatever source we have, and then just simply load them, and ready to play. Based on the localized uh, playlist here for my country. So some of these have localized ones, some of them don't. Denmark, uh, for instance, iTunes also have a localized Danish one, so an international song, and this one is a local track. Uh, for Denmark, that probably nobody else knows about. Like that. 